Hi, this is John with Soft Cell Electrical School and today we're going to install a riser into this panel and we're going to hook up feeds to power up a guest house and we're going to install that riser as well. The connection between the steel riser and the PVC underground has to be double wrapped with pipe wrap tape like so because this is going to be covered up to concrete to right about here and you want to keep any moisture from flooding or whatever sources away from this pipe and that should be sufficient code requires that any subfeed or underground burial conduit be in plastic and at least 18 inches deep this is 24 inches deep and right there is grade level it switches over from plastic to metal you saw me put the bushing together that's all pipe wrapped that's inside the wall comes up there's a lock bushing underneath there's a lock bushing on top and then this is a plastic bushing to keep the wire from chafing we're going to go install the other riser now this is an external riser and surface mount sub panel and it differs we get zero offset. There is a UFER, that copper bar right there. And we're going to have to mount brackets right about there and there. And that's going to go up inside there. This is the ground lug. This is the ground wire. This is your neutral wire. And you'll notice that they did not provide a lug for me. So that's why they make this little unit here. Goes in right like this. The lug is properly installed. Now we have to strip the wire properly, which means not using a pair of strippers, but a knife. Goes in like so. Same on the ground wire. Starting from the top down, the main breaker is connected. The neutral is connected. The ground is connected. I went overhead with that. Bushing is on. Riser is secured in two places. And it's waterproofed to 8 inches above grade. That is a direct burial rated ground clamp. Goes in the conduit, which is secured. Goes into the panel. And onto the ground bar. Everything's connected. We're ready to heat this up at the main panel. We've completed the other panel. We've completed this panel. We had to use another lug on this one to accommodate the number two neutral. Those are our two feeds awaiting a 100 amp breaker that's gonna go right in there. We're gonna heat that up. The 100 amp sub panel breaker is in. The main has been turned off. We're gonna turn that on. We're gonna turn the sub panel breaker on. It's holding. We're going to now go to the sub panel. And that completes the riser installation of both the panel and the sub panel. Breaker out. We're going to turn the main on and turn the breakers on one at a time. No breakers popping. I like that. That completes this lesson on how to install a riser and hook up a panel to a sub panel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.